much over here. Explain by 7 into 11 into 13 plus 13 and 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 2, 3 into 2 into 1 plus 5 are composite numbers. So to find this, let's solve the given question. Let's just write down the numbers as they have given. Firstly, 7 into 11 into 13 plus 13 and and given what? 7, let me use another one. Well, 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 plus 1. Then 1 plus 5, sorry. 1 plus 5. Now here as they have given this both. Now to solve this one, first let's take common in the both the numbers as here. Let's go with the first one. 7 into 11 into 13 plus 13. We'll just take 13 as common. We'll take 13 as common. Now here, 7 into 11 plus 1. Done? So, 7 into 11 plus 1. As here, we're 13 into 1, 13 times 1 gives 13. As I have taken 13 as common. And I have written like this. Now, let's write down the second equation. Now, just take 5 as common as we have uh, 5 for 2 for uh, five. For 2 times, well, 5 over 5 over there. Now, let's take 5 as common. Well, 5 into 7 into 6 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 plus 1. Plus 1. So, here I have taken plus 1 because 5 into 1 gives 5. So, that's how I, am. I have taken over here. Now, done with this both. Now, let's go for the next one here. Okay, after completion of this, let's solve the bracket problem. Okay, so here let's solve the one which is in the bracket. Where 7, 11, 7 times 7 gives 77. 77 plus 1 gives 78. As here I can see that 13 into 78. Where this is 78 total. And here into 13 gives 13 into 78, right? So let's solve this as we go further. Now here let's go with the second one here. Solve the bracket one. Where 7, 6 to 42. Okay, just... Take 42 aside. So 42 into 4 3 is 12, 12 to 24. 42 into 24. 2 4 is 8. Uh, 4 4 is 16. Over here, 0 over here, where we get 0. So here this becomes what? 1 double zero 8. So here we, I got what? 1 double zero 8. Still here, but 1 double zero 8 plus 1, 1 double zero 9, as we know. So here I can take like this whole become 1 double zero 9. So 1 double zero 9 into 5. Let me take 5 into 1,009. Now let's solve this both with 13 into 78. Let me um, do the further sum over here. Where 13 into 78 or 78 into 13. Let me go with 78 into 30. Where here... Uh, 3 is 24. 3 is 24, 4 over here. Uh, where? 24, 2. Where? 3, 7 is 21. 21. 21. 21. I got what? 1, 0, 4, 1. Or sorry, 1, 0, 1, 4. I got what? 1, 0, 1, 4. Now, next here you go. I, I got what is 1014. Now, after this, well, 5 into 1009, let me go with 1009 into 5. This gives 5045. Okay? So, here I got what? Where? 1014, where? Here, 5 into 1009 gives 5045. Now, here I can say that where when I got 1014 as by solving the whole equation I got 1014 by solving the whole one I got 5045 now where I can say that uh, to find the factors of 1014 where the factors for this number is not only uh, 1014 and 1 but also we, we, we also have 13 and 78, right? 13 and 78, where as you know, in, in prime numbers, not more, where compo in, in composite numbers, not only the number and 1, not only 1 and number itself are the factors, but also we have uh, composite numbers like more than 1 
and number itself if you if you get more factors then that's known as composite number as here i got 13 and 78 as the factors for 1014 and going for the next one here 5045 so where 5045 if i find the factors for this i not only have the number and one for one as a common as a factor for this but i also have five and one double zero so here by this I can say that I have more factors other than number itself and one that says it as a composite number so therefore I can say that this one 7 into 11 into 13 plus 13 and 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 plus 5 as a composite numbers. Thank you.